Welcome back to Justice. I want to make a correction. Chris Hahn in the last block suggested $100 million went from Saudi Arabia to Ivanka Trump's charity. That is absolutely incorrect. That $100 million from the Saudis is going into a program that involves the uh, Women Entrepreneur Fund, and that is going to be run by the World Bank, not Ivanka Trump, and it provides female entrepreneurs uh, with financial support uh, in the Middle East. This is to help women in the Middle East, having nothing to do with Ivanka. I needed to correct that. Meanwhile, earlier I spoke with the president and proprietor of Cherubona, La Petite Robe, Anthony Vecchioni, who joined me to talk about all things FLOTUS fashion. Take a look. Anthony, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Again. All right. So here's the first lady just completing her visit, uh, first international visit. And uh, there used to be like this breathless anticipation of what first ladies would wear. Although she's extremely elegant or so it appears, there's not a lot of talk in the fashion world about it, is there? No. In fact, there's not. In, in fact, what they should be doing right now is praising our first lady for how beautiful and how chic she's representing our country in these beautiful designers that she's chosen from all over the world. And here she is in Saudi Arabia and Riyadh just coming off the plane and wearing... Actually, she's got the uh, Stella McCartney jumpsuit on. All right. And the belt? The belt is a magnificent gold uh, Saint Laurent Python leather. All right. And then it seems that she respects the cultures. And for the first dinner in Saudi Arabia, she's wearing a dress uh, designed by Lebanese designer Reem Akra, this raspberry. It's what do you appropriate. think of that? It's exquisite. I mean, first of all, the woman looks like a, a statuesque. As I said, she floats. She's so beautiful. And uh, she's completely covered up and she's given respect to the culture. And from what I've read in the press, the Saudi Arabians really appreciated her style and her conservatism. Okay, and here she is. It almost looks like a safari outfit with the brown leather belt. Again, kind of a desert safari look. She has got her own sense of style. And I think that's so wonderful about this, our first lady, is that she's capable of creating a look for the mood and the environment that she's in. And I believe after that, another Reem Acra, uh, the Lebanese designer, this powder blue caftan. Exquisite. I mean, really breathtaking. The color is just perfect. She's floating with the... Yeah, uh, you're the one who said she floats. She Float does float floats. because she just manages to use the right fabrications that go with her body and complement her shapes. Okay. And she's just really a beautiful woman. Yeah. And uh, then, of course, she goes to Israel. And what is she wearing here? This is a Michael Kors uh, super chic suit. I mean, this is like so perfect for Israel. It's crisp. It's um, elegant. It's tailored. It's uh, feminine, yet it's still and very it's chic. respectful. Respectful and, and chic. Not everyone can wear a belt that thick, but let, let's keep moving. Here is another dress at the home of Benjamin Netanyahu for dinner. This is certainly a Dolce Cabana black dress, okay, for dinner. Exquisite. And I think of all the designers, Dolce Cabana is probably the only designer that's paying respect for the first lady honoring them while they're on this world trip. And then here she is again uh, with Ivanka, who looks stunning as well. What, do you know what she's wearing here again in Israel? Again, here we go. She's now chosen a designer from the UK called Roxada. So she's managed to get a real, well... Like an international, yeah, you Yeah, to know, represent this trip that UK, she's on. UK, America, Lebanon, Italy, Italy. Okay, okay. What is she wearing here? This is, a, again, she's decided to continue, which is also a, always a great move for her, a Dolce Cabana coat. Okay. She has an amazing figure, so it's, it's yeah, in her best that's, benefit. <laughs> it's in her best benefit to highlight her waistline. Okay, now let's talk about the Vatican. This, she truly, truly, truly must have been briefed by the Vatican. Why? Because I think that she has truly respected the full-on culture of what it takes With to With the meet. mantilla? Yep. Yeah. I think that she really, I mean, the Pope is probably one of the highest figures one of the highest uh, leaders in the world in his own right. And uh, she's showing the ultimate respect, as uh, Ivanka is here as well. Uh, in a Dolce? She's in a Dolce yeah, again. Dolce. Being no in one Italy. does this look better than Dolce. Let okay, me put it out there. Okay, especially in Italy. And speaking of Melania, Dolce & Cabana, the other fashionable first lady, Jackie Kennedy, compare them. Well, firstly, I actually do compare them because I think Melania is literally as elegant and as chic as Jacqueline Kennedy was. This particular photo, though, who's for the meeting of the uh, Pope, they mu she must really use these pictures as an inspiration for herself because the, they're almost identical. Well, yeah, but I'm not so sure that she needed that, given the fact that you're going to wear a Dolce, you're going to wear a mantilla. Uh, there is not a lot of choice, but both of them so elegant. Very elegant. Here she is coming off the plane in Belgium. 
again, she's highlighting her waistline. She's wearing this beautiful Michael Kors gingham coat and matching dress. Okay, how many women can highlight their waistline? I mean, do you have to be really tall to be able well, to Well, it wear... doesn't hurt that she's got this statuesque figure. We, but how about for the rest of us? Well, I wouldn't want to, we can't categorize everybody, but I do believe that in Melania's particular case, she knows what to accentuate on herself. Anthony, we'll see what happens when she comes back. And now that she's going to be in the White House, we'll be able to see her a lot more. But I guarantee, though, everybody should be paying notice to her because she has literally taken the fashion industry by storm and she has represented an industry that should be paying high respect to her. All right. Anthony Vecchioni, La Petite Robe, thank you for being with <laughs> thank us you again. So much, Judge. It was a pleasure. Street justice is next, but it's really fleet justice. You're going to want to see this. Trust me. June 4th, get ready for the next revolution. I promise you, we are going to shake things up. Steve Hilton's been on the front lines of Brexit and a champion of the populist movement. We've got to get power 